Hi everybody, I'm here with my kids again today, and today we're going to talk about Animal Kingdom at Walt Disney World, just in case you're planning a family vacation there and want to know a little bit about it. We went there last year, and again I'm joined with by Lizzie, who's 13, by Judy, who's 8, Shelby is 16, and Trey next to me is 15. And uh, now we did a video a little while ago and we each talked about kind of our favorite parks and Animal Kingdom, we did our top two, and Animal Kingdom was on two of your guys' favorite lists, right? It was Shelby and Lizzie. So why did you guys like Animal Kingdom? Why, why would you recommend people go to Animal Kingdom? Um, I really like the um, just feel of it and the look of it. It's really cool. The rides are awesome. I really like animals and nature, so that, that added to it as well. Okay. Um, I liked it mostly because of, a lot because of um, Pandora, which is the world of Avatar. I think that the um, structure of everything was very pretty and everything. And I like walking in a place where there's a lot of plants, so it was mm -hmm. fun. Yeah, there was. That Avatar land was actually well designed. If you liked uh, Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, if you've ever been to Disneyland or Hollywood Studios, Pandora, it, it, it's uh, kind of like that, where it's just really amazing how good um, it looks. Um, but, uh, okay, what else? What are some of the things about Animal Kingdom do you think, Judy and Trey, that, that, that people would want to go see? Um, I think the, like, the animals, like Lizzie said, nature, it's like just, it's really cool just to see if like you love animals, and there's just a lot of animals that you can just go like see. And... Yeah, yeah. How about you, Trey? It's a zoo. It's with a zoo. With a couple of rides. With a couple of rides. Very unenthusiastic uh, from Trey, probably. Not his favorite. And I uh, I actually loved Animal Kingdom for the animal part of it. So I loved going to see the animals. But in that way, it was kind of like a zoo where they have animals all over. You can go, you can walk and see them. You can take the uh, one of the rides. What was it called? It's called the Safari. The, the safari. It, what, um, what's the name of it? It is the... Uh, let me find it here. Kilimanjaro Safaris. Yeah. Thanks, Judy. You get on a bus and you travel around and you can see a lot of animals and that's actually my favorite attraction in the whole park. Um, so we'll talk a little bit about some of the attractions that are there. I'm not talking about every single animal exhibit because there are, I have a, a ride chart that has every single animal exhibit and ride there and there are so many animal exhibits in Animal Kingdom that we couldn't talk about all of them. But what did you guys think about going to see all the animals? How would you... I love, I, like again, I love animals, so I love just like going and seeing them. Like if you're a crazy, like you love animals, then just go there. It's a really great place to see animals. I think some of them are more interesting than others. Like if you go see like a monkey or something, it's like, okay. But like the tiger, I remember seeing that and just staring at it for like two hours straight. Like it was just really cool to see. That some was a lot more interesting. Fun. Yeah. What do you guys think of the animals? It was boring. So Trey, doesn't, <laughs> Trey didn't want to go pet any of the animals, did you? I didn't want to see him either. Didn't want to see, <laughs> didn't want to see him or pet him. Okay, shall we? <laughs> I more like the atmosphere of everything. It was still cool to see the animals and such, but I enjoyed the atmosphere the most out of everything. All right. So kind of a mixed bag on the animals, but if your kids have any sort of affinity towards animals, I think you got to go because this is a really cool place to see a bunch of animals, especially the, the Kilimanjaro Safaris ride. That was my favorite one in the whole park. Um, next we have, we'll go to Dino Land USA. And actually there's some rumors, they've been online for a little while, that they're changing Dino Land to a, a combination of either Zootopia or Moana. And it hasn't been confirmed by Disney yet, but... Uh, and those rumors have been out there for a little while, but right now it's still Dino Land USA. And uh, there's two kind of main rides I guess we'll talk about there, one being Dinosaur. What did you guys think about Dinosaur? I really enjoyed it. It was kind of like Indiana Jones in a fact where it was like bumpy and stuff like that. But um, I, I just really enjoy that kind of stuff and I also told a story about like chasing dinosaurs or whatever, so that was cool too. Yeah? What did you think, Shelves? I don't remember it. You didn't remember it very well? But Based off of what Lizzie is saying, it's, it sounds like something that I would like. The, the weird thing about it is, is um, I, and I'll say this about Animal Kingdom, is it's probably the least Disney of the Disney parks because the dinosaur ride, I don't think there was any sort of Disney connection to it that I can think of. I mean, it wasn't like a land, it wasn't any sort of a good dinosaur or anything like that. It was more of a thrill ride. Judy didn't go on it because it was a little bit too scary for Judy. Um, so it's not a little kid ride. This is more a teenager, adult 
ride uh, that doesn't have any drops or anything, but it's, if you've been on Indiana Jones, it's very jerky and there's a lot of dinosaurs that kind of pop out at you a little bit, uh, scares like that. So, but as far as I could tell, as far as I can remember, there, there were no Disney connections to that ride. So again, very kind of an un-Disney ride in a Disney park, which is kind of strange. Then they also had the Triceratops spin. Um, do you guys remember the Triceratops spin? Yeah, if you've ever been on Dumbo, Dumbo the Flying Elephant at Disneyland, it's just you typically get into um, a dinosaur and you're just you're just spinning round and round and round. You can control it up and down or side to side, like yeah. how like that. Right. It's it's kind of a uh, more geared towards younger kids uh, a spinner ride. Okay, um, Discovery Island. There's a, there's a, a tough. It's tough to be a bug, which we didn't do, but it's kind of like a. I think it's called a 4D experience because I think there's even um, some other stuff like water and stuff that gets sprayed on you. But I don't think we did. It's, it's tough to be, to be a bug. Um, pretty fun show, although there are some some scary elements for kids, um, from what I've uh, read and stuff like that. But uh, we didn't do that one, so we won't talk about that. Um, also in Discovery Island, there's the Discovery Island trails that kind of take you around the tree where you can see all the carvings into the tree and stuff like that, which was kind of fun to go see those, those things. Um, but if we go over to Asia, Asia probably has um, a couple rides that the kids will, will like to talk about, but first being uh, Expedition Everest. Fun was good. Um, if you like roller coasters, if you don't, then I wouldn't recommend it because you go backwards and in the dark so you can't see anything and you're going backwards. So Yeah? Other than that, it's kind of like Matterhorn. What did you guys think about Expedition Everest? I enjoyed it. I really liked it. Like, I liked it more than Matterhorn. I, I loved it when it went backwards, like around the whole mountain. It was just so much fun. <laughs> so, I think most of the most of the people that like thrill rides would, would enjoy it. However, like the kids said, there's a part where you do go backwards, and uh, I think the ride co probably goes backwards more than it goes forwards, would you guys say, or is it about the same? I don't know. Um, right. Yeah, it's, it's, I, it, you go backwards uh, for quite a ways, uh, on, down slopes like on a roller coaster, so it's a little bit uh, different, I guess I would say. The one thing I, I remember about Expedition Everest was that it was a very, very short ride. Um, it, so, like, if you think of other rides, like, like the Matterhorn, I felt like it was quite a bit longer than Expedition Everest. Like, I felt like Expedition Everest was over, before, like, right after it started. So it was a very, very short um, roller coaster. That's what I remember about it. But um, there's also the Cali River Rapids. Do you guys remember the Cali River Rapids? Yeah, it's pretty much like Grizzly River Run if you've been yeah. to Disneyland. It's just, you get into a boat, and you go around some rapids, and you, I think there's a few drops. There were, yeah. 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 Um, and yeah, it's just really fun. You get wet, <laughs> very yeah. wet. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, yeah, there's just a couple of drops. You spin round and round, so like, sometimes it's fun, because like, you don't want to be backwards when you go down the drop, because it, you spin and you stop right before the drop, because there's two, there's two, two there's gates, two gates, but then it, It'll open and it'll let you down the drop. So you don't want to be backwards. It's kind of, <laughs> it's kind of like you're going backwards. So. But yeah. even even Judy, my eight year old, likes that one. And it's there's a really couple, a couple of, kind of drop. I would, would you say twelve foot drops or something yeah. like that. So. What yeah. Do you guys, it oh. does spin though. So if you get like sick or something easily, I don't know. I mean, I don't think anyone really gets sick on it. It just depends on your luck if you spin more than others. But you know, there's just that. Yeah. Some can spin really fast and some can spin like really slow. What do you guys think? Oh, I liked it. Was, it was good. It was good. I also, and maybe I'm wrong here, but I felt like it was shorter than Grizzly River Run. I felt like it was kind of a short rafting ride, but um, that's something that I remember about it just being kind of short again. But uh, it was a fun ride. You get wet on it, so beware if you have valuables. Keep them dry. Keep them stashed away somewhere. Have someone wait uh, off the ride. But uh, that was a ride that, that everyone kind of enjoyed. Oh, yeah. um, then if we go over to Africa, um, there is something called... Um, now, first of all, Africa is where the Kilimanjaro safaris are, so that's where my favorite attraction was where you hop on the bus, take basically like a safari to see a bunch of animals, and, and that was awesome. I love that, but um, I could do that all day long. Um, there was also something called Rafiki's Planet Watch, where you have to take a train to get over to it, and we didn't do that. I'm very disappointed that we didn't do that because I really wanted to see kind of the different animals over there um, at Conservation Station, I think is what it's called, where they do... There's, I think, if I remember right, there's a bunch of uh, veterinarians that, that um, it's kind of where they had their animal um, hospital, if you want to call it that, just where they can nurse good uh, nurse animals back to health and stuff like that. So you can kind of take a train over there and, and see it. Um, there's a Gorilla Falls Exp Exploration Trail where you can see the gorillas. Um, 
But as far as rides go, there's not a whole lot more in Africa other than the Kilimanjaro safaris. But um, going to Pandora, that's our last area of Animal Kingdom. I know Shelby loved Pandora, so why don't you talk about what you liked about Pandora first, Shelves? Um, I liked the architecture of everything, and I loved the rides there. Man, what are the rides? We can talk about them too. The, one of the rides were Avatar Flight of Passage, which is like a simulation kind of, where you're staring at a screen and you have some glasses. And, and you, you're on this little yeah. uh, thing that looks like a motorcycle kind of deal, but it's supposed to be like a flying thing. Yeah, it's fancy, I think is the first yeah. one. Yeah. yeah, and um, yeah, you're just flying, but it's, it's you, pretty realistic and it's really fun. You will get motion sick if you are prone to motion sickness. Yes. I didn't get too motion sick, but yeah. I'll say one thing about it, it is a different kind of a simulator, right? Because typically in simulators you're just sitting down normally. This one you're kind of, you're, you're hunched over kind of forward. I don't know if you guys remember yeah. that, but it's a different feel at first. Um, it, it's something that you're not used to on, uh, on most other rides that I've ever been on. So uh, you're, you're on what's called a banshee and you're, you're kind of forward, kind of like a motorcycle, I guess, and you're kind of going back and forth and, and, and while you're looking at the screen and stuff like that. So it was, it was kind of a fun ride, I thought. But did you do it, Judy? Did you go on it? You didn't yeah, go on it. Go on okay. It. Yeah. So we didn't take Judy on it because Judy does not like thrill rides and we thought it might be a little bit too scary for her. So, um, but the rest of us went on it and I think everyone enjoyed it. Did you like it, Trey? Yeah, I wasn't sick. Did you get motion sick on it? I did. Yeah, I well, think I did every too. Every time I went on it, I got motion sick. So you went on it a couple times? Okay. So. But it is really fun, and I think it's worth it, maybe, because I didn't get too motion sick, but I think it's, it's still a good ride. Alright, and the second ride, what would you, what was it, Shelby? Uh, Navi River Journey, and that's, it's like a quiet ride, anybody could go on it. You're on a boat, and you just go through the like, whole world of, like, Avatar, or whatever, yeah. kind of, and... And then there's a 10,000 feet drop. No. There's no, no. drops. <laughs> it's a quiet ride, kind of like a what is it, small world-esque kind of, but more in the dark. I would say it's a little bit darker, and there's a lot more luminescent lights and stuff like that. Um, what do you guys, did you, would you guys like it pretty well? I liked it. Too? It was kind of like if you're like tired from walking all day, it's nice to just sit down and relax. And or just... tired from waiting in the long line. Yeah. <laughs> they do have long lines. Lizzie, did you have something to add? Um, not really. I mean, it was cool to see everything glowing and stuff, and the animatronics were, like, pretty cool, too. But it's just, like, one of those rides where you just go in a boat and see everything, and then it's over, so. Uh, and, and I'll say this about about it, and I don't want to come across too negative here, because they obviously spent a lot of money on this Pandora Land and on the Flight of Passage and on the Navi River Journey. They, they One of the animatronics, I think, in the Navi River Journey has more movement than any other animatronic in any Disney park ever, so it's... It, it, it is very high technology stuff. For me, what it was missing is is the, the Disney feel to it. I've never felt that Avatar is, is, I mean, I know Disney bought it, but it doesn't feel like Disney to me. And so I remember talking to some of my friends at Disneyland one time and we'd get up, we'd go on the dark rides in Fantasyland, like the Mr. Toad or Peter Pan or Snow White or Pinocchio. And they'd be like, meh, it was okay. And I was thinking, how can you just think that's okay? Like for me, it's Disney, it's, it's, it's classic Disney, it's retelling a story, so I love those rides. But going on, the, especially the Navi River journey, I completely understood how they felt because I got off that ride completely under, underwhelmed or bored or just kind of like not, not feeling it, not attached to it. And the reason why is because it, to me it didn't feel like Disney and I was going to a Disney park to, to experience Disney. And so while it was absolutely amazing, and I tell you my, my kids would probably disagree with me here about this whole thing, but for me, if you're going specific, specifically for a Disney park, it, it just didn't have the Disney feel to it. It was amazing visually. Um, but uh, I left that ride never feeling like I had in Disney Park before, just kind of like, that, I didn't feel like I was in Disney anymore. So, it's an amazing park, amazing rides, especially the Avatar rides, but not really a Disney feel to me, um, is kind of how I left feeling. Um, but with that, I think that's, we've covered all the rides. Is there anything else about any of the Animal Kingdom parks or any, anything that you want to... It was boring. So Trey, you didn't like it. Yeah. Shelby liked it though. Shelby loved it's it. It's okay. I really do like enjoy it. And so. Lizzie loved it. And now Judy's a big animal lover too. And she... I I only like the like the animal parts and like some of the, like the 
River Rapids ride. That's technically I only like the animals in River Rapids. There's not really much rides I like there, but yeah. I like the animals. In the there weren't as many yeah, rides many for rides. younger kids, uh, and, and there's not as many rides in general. Yeah. It, it's mostly an, a, a sea animal park or just experience a couple of thrill rides over and over again, I think, if you go there. Probably not a full day. In fact, we didn't spend a full day there, I don't think. We left a little bit early um, that day, if I remember right. I think we stayed until about 5-ish or 6-ish, um, if I remember right. But So it's a, it's, it's, it's a park you'll finish easily in the day. Um, just depends on how much time you want to put into seeing the animals, probably, or how many times you want to stand in line to go on some of the longer rides. But uh, thanks for watching this video, and uh, we'll have some videos on the other parks in Walt Disney World as well coming up.